paralyzed with polio since his late 30s and under immense pressure as America's president since 1933, through the Great Depression and then the war, Roosevelt's health had been deteriorating for some time. At the Yalta Conference in the Crimea in February, Roosevelt had met Stalin and Churchill to discuss the post-war division of Germany, but his appearance had shocked everyone present. He was evidently a very sick man. On returning to the United States, the President addressed the US Congress. Although too ill to stand, he spoke while seated. We haven't won the wars yet. The main theme of his speech was his vision for the United Nations organization. He said, the Crimean Conference ought to spell the end of a system of unilateral action, the exclusive alliances, the spheres of influence, the balance of power, and all the other expedients that have been tried for centuries and have always failed. We propose to substitute for all these a universal organization in which all peace-loving nations will finally have a chance to join. It was a remarkable legacy for Roosevelt to leave to the world, and although very unwell, he still continued to lead the Americans in the fight against Adolf Hitler and his axes of evil. At the end of March, Roosevelt travelled to Warm Springs, Georgia, to prepare for the International Conference in San Francisco, at which the United Nations organization would be created. But during the course of April the 12th, he complained of a terrible headache. Shortly after, Roosevelt suffered a massive brain hemorrhage and died within hours. <laughs>